Hey, you're right, Mitch here from Mitch at Capture Imagery. Got another video sharing my thoughts from my journal and a different concept about photo journaling and how it's good for mindfulness. So, according to the quote by Destin Sparks, photography is the story I failed to put into words. So, this means when you can't think of how to explain the beauty of a landscape print or a landscape or a scenery or the feeling that it gives you, or the solitude or the silence of a place. This is where you can create a photo journal for mental health. So if you can't articulate or process your emotions properly, using a photo journal in any form can create a tangible experience, can trigger positive memories and releases good feelings which is great for mindfulness. A picture gives you a visual or physical journey of progress that best represents your feelings in that frozen moment. So you can provide a physical or a visual journey of progress that best represents your feeling in that current moment. And this is why people have pictures of memories around their home, as home decor. It doesn't have to be a collage like your conventional um, photo journal or in, a, or in a diary or in a written journal. It can be photos dotted around the home. A photo journal can take any form that you desire. It's a bit different than a written journal. A written journal is very uh, written, it's very um, hands-on, it's very putting your thoughts onto paper. Whereas a photo if you can't describe it and you can't think of a feeling how to explain it, that still frame in that moment, in that picture, gives you a really good um, good feeling in your brain. So it releases a good dopamine, allowing our brains to feel pleasure, which is fantastic for positive mindfulness. So when we look at a photo, when we're out in nature, it releases a positive uh, neuro... Um, neurochemical called dopamine and dopamine is the the chemical that you use for good feeling to make you feel happy to make you feel good and that quote sums it up really when you can't think of a word or think of what to say about it photography is there photography is the answer and photo journal can be anything it's a journal that it has a collection of photos. It could be a book. It could be a collage book. It could be frames posted around your room. It could be frame prints around your home. It could be anything that will instill a positive memory and bring out those good feelings. And it's really good for mindfulness, especially if you're feeling in a slump and you're in your head quite a lot and you're feeling cloudy. Looking at those photos will definitely help. So yeah, hopefully that little quote, that little inspiration helps about finding photo journals for mindfulness you can start creating your own by creating a collage by creating a book by just putting photos up of your best and your favorite places and when you're feeling down you can look back and cherish those memories with fondness and it can almost help lift you out of that uh, moment so thank you for listening bye for now